Okay, so you do the same thing to the other one. You don't need a ton of adhesive. You just want it to stay so, you, so it holds. It just stays where it's supposed to stay. Because I'll show you what you do next. So just center it. You know, eyeball it and center it. So this is what you have. Now these are your covers. All right. And the first thing you want to do is just take all four corners of these and fold them in. So you're going to take... I learned this from Annette Green. I used to snip this off. I used to take my scissors and just snip this part off and then do your corners. But this way, um, you don't see the, the cardboard at all. You cover your corners. You don't... the uh, the the chipboard won't show through. But anyway, it's I like it better. It just it finishes it off much more professionally. I mean, now you can do it however if you've done this before. And then I like to really get it um, nice and creased because these are your corners of your covers. And I just like it to look nice. So I make sure I'm nice and creased and go around and take my... Uh, okay, so open that up now. And you're going to, again, with the wet glue cover the triangle there. Just cover the triangle. I go all the way around. Put my glue on all four corners first. Just, you know, and I mean, this is going to squish out. I push down here first and then the middle. Do the same thing. Push down there and then the middle. And it squishes out. It's fine because this dries clear. It's not a problem. I have my wet wipe right here. And I'm going to wipe that away. Just wipe any glue. If you can just gently go on the paper. It's not going to be too wet that it uh, messes anything up. And then I go to my other piece. Let that dry for a second. And then pull my other cover over and do the same thing. So I'll go away and come back when I'm done. Okay, so I've got both of my corners, both covers have their corners done. This was my first one. I'm going to take now and you're going to just go along the edge there and fold and crease. Do it along all your sides. Fold and crease. Gently um, get that nice and um, creased with your bone folder. And you'll see what happens to the corners. They are uh, Look, so when you see that, it covers your corners. Your cor Nothing's sticking out. It's just It just looks so much neater. I like it. Especially for your bigger mini albums. Now, this can be done for as big as you want to go. And with chipboard or whatever, you just, as long as you have at least a half an inch um, border, and then when you cover your inside of your cover, you want to make sure the paper um, fits. I'll show you that. So now, we did that. Nice creased edges. And again, with your wet glue, go put a generous amount, not real thick. I go all four sides first. I apply my glue, and then I push it all down at the same time. Just ki I kind of just do the flap. I don't really put it on the um, this part. And then just take it and push it down. Hold it there for a couple seconds. And do it around the whole thing. And the glue squishes out, but that's okay. Just keep, it doesn't, it dries clear. It's okay. As long as, I mean, it's on the inside of the cover too. So it's not like it's really getting on anything. Push down. Give it a couple seconds. And then just take your wet wipe and clean it up. And I'll go away and come back when I'm done the other one. But see how nice and neat that covers so it, it really looks professional. It doesn't look cheesy. Um, and that wet glue really adheres nicely so that, um, anyway, I like it. I like, I really, I think it looks finished. This is actually the back cover. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we have so far. We've got our mini book. It's drying. It's pretty dry probably by now. And our front and back covers. Um... So they go, obviously, front and back cover. You have your little book. All right. Um, the next thing I would do is any inking that you want to do. Um, because before we seal this up, it's just before we put the covers on, it's easier to ink this um, if you want to ink it. I think I'm actually going to not. 
you know what I do like to ink because you know why then you can see like the little oh I like to put to do um, a little place to grab your tag so I'll go ahead and do that you don't have to do it but for the pockets and actually I'm gonna take my um, what is this called oh a bone folder and just kind of run it in my pockets there like this just kind of open them up a little, make sure it didn't seal too tightly on the edge. Make sure you'll be able to fit your tags in there. So I just kind of go like that gently. So I have three pockets. And then to do this little, um, I take uh, upside down. I kind of, I'm doing this through the camera, so I'm going to look behind the camera. Try to center it as best you can and go, boop, and you get that little half circle there. To, to grab your tags out of. So I do that on all my all my pocket pages. So I'm gonna do three of those. I guess you didn't need to see all this either. But. All right, so now we're done that. And like I said, you would ink. And by ink, I mean, I'm just saying this for beginners. Uh, you would, most of the time, I use my Tim Holtz Distress Inks, and this is actually Vintage Photo. I take a distressing tool, put some ink on it, and you just kind of run it along all the edges. I'm just going to leave this one without it this time. I'm going to see what it looks like without it, because it's just time consuming, and I can uh, show you the difference, one inked and one not inked. So, But that's when I would do my inking. Now, the next thing is to take your piece of uh, ribbon, and I suggest about 16 inches, I think I said. Let me see how long this is. Um, 12, yeah, it's about 16. Just because I think that gives you plenty of room to, um, to tie with. And what I usually do is I have it like this in my hand. So this is the middle here. And I take my ATG gun and I eyeball it and I go straight down the middle. And just take that halfway point and lay it down just to hold it in place. And then I flip it and I do the same thing. It just makes it easier when you're attaching your um, covers. All right, so now you have, oops, upside down. You have your book. You have your, this is, see, this should be plenty of, um, are they even? Not good enough. But like it's plenty of room to tie. Yep, you can make a little bow. Maybe you should do it a little bigger. I think I've probably done it a little longer than that. 16 might be a little short, but I'll keep it on here for now. I think it's fine. Should I even it up? Maybe I'll even it up. I'm just going to, I'll be right back.